Hey kings, queens, and beauties in between. I am Tan Close, and I'm going to be talking about Hocus Pocus 2. I watched it with my dad. It's a pretty good movie. You should watch Hocus Pocus 1 before you watch the second one, obviously. But basically, the witches, obviously, come back again. A few years, I think maybe a few centuries after the events of the first movie, but basically, it in the first part of the movie, it tells how Guinevere and her sisters became witches. And then it shows a girl who, uh, her and her friends like witchcraft. So they end up doing a ritual in the woods. And this guy who they know gave them a black candle without their knowledge. So they ended up accidentally bringing the witches back. But what was funny is because now everything is all modernized and her and her friend lied to the witches saying that they were witches and were bringing them to like a beauty salon or something to go and get lotions and the witches thought like oh lotions as in potions like that and they all the girls lied saying oh yeah the lotions are filled with the souls of children so they go in there and they just, they don't apply it to their faces, which is, I guess is obvious because they don't, probably don't know anything about it, but they just open up everything and start drinking it. And they, like, uh, the one witch with like the crazy hair that sticks up, I don't know her name, uh, she found a face mask and said, oh, it's a face of a child and began to eat it. <laughs> And it wasn't, it was just a regular face mask. It looked weird, but she's just like, oh look, they have the face of children on here. And they're just eating the stuff and it's like, that's not good for your, uh, that's just not good for you. <laughs> don't eat makeup supplies or beauty products. Just don't eat it. But yeah, they end up finding out like, oh, these aren't real, they're fake. So they end up trying to kill the other girls, like in the first movie they try to kill the boy I guess, but they end up running out and cut a few forward. Can you pause this please? And so the girls end up running away, probably going to, they went to go and get supplies to try and stop the witches. And the witches, Winnie ended up getting herself a broom that is modeled after her first broom. But the other two didn't get a, get a broom. So the blonde one, I don't know her name, so I'm probably just going to refer to her as the blonde one. Uh, the blonde haired one. Uh, she gets like a Swiffer wet jet as her broom. <laughs> um, and then the other one with the black crazy hair. She gets herself Roombas. <laughs> she, she, so she's just running okay, on Roombas. The names. I would like to mention something just yes. because she doesn't know the names. The blonde haired lady is Sarah, Winifred, and Mary. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So Mary has just Roombas. So they end up just flying over the, like the place and it's Halloween again, obviously. And so basically the whole town is having a entire Halloween festival party. And the mayor is actually a descendant of the mayor in the movie that wanted to take away Mary's sisters. So they wanted to try and get their revenge on his entire bloodline and they wanted to uh they wanted to do not so nice things to him that would cause much harm and the mayor's daughter is actually well somewhat friends with the two protagonist girls so they end up 
getting the guy who gave the two girls the black candle, they end up saying, like, if you don't get us all these ingredients so that we can become very powerful witches, uh, then you're gonna be dead by the end of this timer. So he ends up going to get it, and he needs to get a few ingredients, but one of the ingredients is the head of her, of Winnevere's, or Winifred's, uh, lovers. So it was the zombie guy from the first movie that had the sewing in his mouth. It was that guy. So he and he apparently was never he never went back to slumber after the first movie. So he actually was tricked into helping. So he was tricked into helping the guy who was on a time limit. He was tricked into helping him get all the stuff to make Win Winifred more powerful. But then, uh, like, they get all the stuff. They trapped, they trapped, they somehow managed to trap the witches in the garage of the mayor with a salt circle. But then Mary's Roombas came and followed her and ate up the salt because Roombas, <laughs> they'll, clean, they'll clean up, they'll clean it up. Vroom, we are not sponsored by Roombas. So they end up getting out of the salt circle and they took the mayor's daughter because they needed I guess they needed her blood to perform the spell and so they they I guess all they did was just scratch her and just like get use like a tiny bit of her blood I thought they were going to harm her or I thought they were going to end her life there to get and stuff but no I'm glad they didn't but they end up get, doing the spell, and actually the two, the protagonist is actually a witch as well. Cause I don't know how, she just is a witch now, and she took Winifred's spell book from her, and now it's her spell book now, I guess. But anyways, they end up defeating her cause, well, Winifred, sisters kind of just poofed because the spell that she used takes away like your most loved thing like anything that you treasure the most and Winifred treasured her sisters the most and you see that you know that because of the first part of the movie but yeah and so she's she's like please please I want my sisters back this was a mistake please undo the spell but they end up casting a spell that wouldn't bring her sisters back, but bring Winifred to her sisters. And then they just end up walking home. They just, they get, well, they reconcile, the three friends reconcile, and they just take the book and go home. And that's the end of the movie. I thought it was a good this movie was a good movie there are there are some uh scenes where i thought i thought it would be better i mean the parts where they sang uh the movie or the song that they sang like i'm gonna find you i'm gonna get you it's a good movie or it was a good song and i liked how they also the three which I like how they w all went into like a contest to see which ones were the best. Like if <laughs> seriously, I like how they went into a contest <laughs> to see if they if they had the best costumes of well themselves. Cause yeah, everyone apparently liked them. Everyone like the I forgot what their last names are, but the they like the witch sisters, so they have like a contest of them, and then they end up singing a song so that they can search for the mayor. But yeah, all over, all in all, it was a good movie, and I would recommend it.